Hi, it's Gab, and I'm reviewing Moonrise Kingdom, the quirky, of course, Wes Anderson, uh, small indie film that's been out for most of the summer now. I'm finally getting a chance to see it, and it's really lingered um, for, for a quirky independent film, uh, doing well in the theaters, getting excellent reviews, um, and it's really the uh, success story of, of the summer in terms of indie film, and there's even Oscar talk about it, and I finally got to, saw, to see it, and um, well, let's just say what's it about. Briefly, it's about um, a young boy and girl who um, are connected um, spiritually, are in love, and therefore run away from their respective dysfunctional um, situations in order to try to uh, be, be together on an adventure um, and, as I say, get away from their dysfunctional backgrounds, her being her family home and his being um, well, a highly functioning uh, uh, scout camp, um, but uh, his background being an orphan, uh, the boy being an orphan. So um, sadness, you know, childhood sadness, malaise, and yet finding um, a, a kindred spirit, a soulmate, and redemption in each other. And then all the adults in their lives trying to track them down and then sort out what's to be done with them. It takes place in 1965 and in the rarefied, rarefied world of the Wes, the Wes Anderson uh, universe. And this film is totally charming. Um, it's lovely to behold um, the performances are, are lovely and charming. Uh, the story itself um, is relatable as a, as a fable of childhood and also just as, as a love story, the oldest story in the book of uh, a, a man and a woman, a boy and a girl wanting to be together and not letting anything get in their way and also that love being a means of escape from uh, other sadness um, or dysfunction in their lives. And uh, it really delivers um, in, in terms of feelings, um, the feelings that this, it emotes, the performances and the story and of course uh, the loveliness uh, just to behold the way Wes Anderson um, frames a shot and the attention to detail, uh, each frame looking like a piece of art um, and, uh, and particularly the, the quirky style capturing the era as well of the 60s and very um, vintage nostalgic um, look and feel uh, to, to everything that's, that's going on. So um, it's really a little gem of a film and in terms of uh, the, the whimsy and the heartwarmingness and, and the message, um, it's ironic that yesterday I, I saw and reviewed a movie called The Odd Life of uh, Timothy Green and in every way that, that everything that film tried to be and thought it was and failed, this film, Moonrise Kingdom, uh, is a su success and delivers upon, um, and I would definitely recommend it to really any age. Um, I would have brought my son, Max, who's 10, uh, if he'd been available and not at camp. Um, he, ironically, he's at um, a scout camp right now. No, not a scout camp, but uh, I picture it like that. Um, and uh, I almost saw this film with Dad. It, the plans fell through. Uh, I'd love to see it with Dad. Um, it's really, it can, you can enjoy and relate to this film in many ways. That is to say, on the other hand, it's not deep and lasting meaningfulness to, to the story um, or anything that the film offers. If that would be my detraction, it would be that I don't think I'm going to ponder on this film. I, I'll think of it fondly, but I'm not going to palm ponder and ruminate over it. Uh, it's, it hasn't uh, struck me deeply. Uh, it is one of the, my favorite films I've seen this summer and probably this year, but that's because I haven't seen, partly because I haven't seen many that I've, I've loved. Um, so I don't think this is going to stand the test of time and be on any uh, list of my all-time favorites necessarily, although I enjoyed it very much. I do like Wes Anderson, and this film fits in very um, well with his other, uh, with his oeuvre, um, and maybe that's another uh, minor critique as well as that. I don't think, as a filmmaker, uh, Moonrise Kingdom delivers anything um, fresh uh, or daring um, or original in the Wes Anderson uh, canon. It's, it's very sort of typical of what he does, which is, I like what he does. So, you know, I mean, I I don't. I can't criticize this film. Uh, I enjoyed it very much, and do recommend it. Um, and in that case, I will give it four out of five gabs. Thanks for watching.